Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll show you step-by-step -step process of creating shared folder in Windows Server 2022 using Server Manager dashboard. Shared folders on the network allows many users to access the files and folders. Remember, folders can be shared, but individual files cannot be shared directly. File server rule must be installed prior to able to share files and folders on the network. In server 2022, the file server rule is installed by default, allowing users to share files and folders. Server manager allows you to easily share folders in Windows Server 2022. So let's press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator account, password and press enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console appears automatically. Here I'll configure shared folder from domain controller deem dc1. Let me show you that. So this is our domain controller for must be noob.lab domain. So let's set up shared folder on our domain controller. And to do so, on Server Manager, click on File and Storage Services. Then click on Shares from the list. You will see the list of shared folders on this server. As you can see, there are two folders, NetLogon and Syswall shared by default. This is because the server is configured as a domain controller. We want to share a folder named Marketing to marketing users group. We want only the marketing users to view and execute the content of the shared folder. We already have marketing users group set up and assign users into the group. Let me show you that first. Click tools, open active directory administrative center. Let me click on marketing OU. This is the name of my OU. And under, you can see I have created one group named Marketing Team. And our user, Rachin Ravindra, is member of that security group named Marketing Team. Let me verify that. Let's double click on that group. And under Members, we can confirm that Rachin Ravindra is member of that Marketing Team. Okay, so we'll use the security group for this shared folder. Let's go back to the Server Manager dashboard. To create a new shared folder, uh, click on Tasks and click on new share. The new share wizard will pops up. There are a number of shared profiles available in Windows Server 2022. You can choose any of these shared profiles as per your requirement. I'll choose SMB share quick and this is suitable for a general file sharing. Click next. Now you are asked to provide the location of the folder that you want to share. I'll choose custom location and that's why I'm going to select the last radio button, type a custom path, uh, click on browse and on a C drive, uh, let me create one uh, folder and I'm going to give name marketing. Uh, let me close it and under marketing, uh, let me create one uh, text file. Under this, I'm going to type, can you read it? Okay, let's save it. So we want to share this folder name marketing. Let me minimize it. And uh, that folder is not available here. Uh, let me click on browse again. And here we go. So this is the folder which we want to share marketing. Let's select the folder. So the custom path is going to be C colon slash marketing. Click next. Type the share name and description of the share folder. Based on the provided name of that folder, marketing is already taken as a share name. If you want, you can change the name as well. And you can also add a share description so you can have a basic idea that why you have shared this folder. Okay. So here I'm adding description that this folder is shared for a marketing team. So this is the local path and this is going to be the path to access this shared folder. Okay, click next. Now here we have options to configure other settings. 
Here I'll check to enable access based enumeration. Uh, access based enumeration displays only the files and folders that a user has permission to access it. And the next one is allow catching of share option, which makes the folder to be accessed even when the user is offline or it is not connected with our file server. Click next. Here we need to configure the folder permission. The shared folder have two types of permission on it. Shared folder permission and NTFS permission. These both permission works together to allow or deny users to access the shared folder. Microsoft recommends to allow full control for shared permission and use NTFS permission to restrict and configure folder access. As you can see below, shared permission is set to everyone full control. So this permission shown here and then we have the NTFS permission. And the NTFS permission shown here is inherited from the NTFS permission from the drives NTFS permission. Means on this folder which we have created on a C drive, the permission is coming from the C drive's root permission. So we want to customize it and that's why I'm going to click on customize permissions. You can see the permission which is listed here is coming from this C drive. This is the parent folder under which we have created a marketing folder. So first we want to disable the inheritance because by default all users can access this share folder and that we don't want. So I'm going to click on disable inheritance and here uh, select convert inherited permission into explicit permissions on this object. Okay, now you can see that this permission is not inheriting from anywhere. Okay, now remove both user groups from the permission. So select users, remove it and do the same for the second group as well. Why we have removed that group? Because this users group contain all the users from the domain and we don't want all the users of the domain to access the share folder. So we have removed it. Now click on add to add our marketing group. Click on select a principal, advanced, find now and find our group which we have created in our active directory name marketing. But it is, here we go. This is the group, marketing team, click okay, click okay. And from here, uh, you can assign the permission which you want to assign. For example, this is the basic permission in that users from that group can only read and execute means they can only access the content of it. They are unable to create any new folder under it. They are unable to modify any folder which are already available under that folder. Okay, so if you want to give them a permission to create something under that, that time you need to give them a modify permission. But in this lab guide, we just want to give them read access only to this share folder. Okay. So now the overall permission for the marketing folders look like this, read and execute. The users of marketing group can only read the files of this marketing folder. Click on apply and okay, here we can see the permission which we have set up. Okay, click next, review the settings and click on create to create the share folder. Close. You can view the share folder in Server Manager Console name of marketing. So in this way, you can create and configure share folders using Server Manager dashboard. Remember, NTFS permissions and shared folder permissions are different. If NTFS permission and share folders permissions are conflicting, then the most restrictive permission is going to be applied. For example, if you configure NTFS permission to full control, and shared permission to read on a folder, then the permission applied to that folder will be read only. So it's a best practice to manage permission for share folder is configure full control permission to everyone at a sharing level and then restrict the folder access using the NDFS permission. So for us, clients can now access the share folders by typing the UNC path of the share folder in Windows Explorer. In our case, the UNC path is double slash DC1 slash marketing. So let's go to our client computer. And here I'm going to log in using the credential of a user Rachin Ravindra. Remember, a user Rachin Ravindra 
is part of the marketing team group for which we have configured the share folder and assigned the permission. Let's press Windows R key combination to access the run menu and let's type UNC path DC1. Let's press enter key and here we go. Here we can see the marketing folder which we have shared on our server. Let's double click on it and here we can see the test file which we have created. And as you can see, a user can access the file and he can also see the content of that test file. But if user try to create new folder under it, it is not possible because we haven't assigned them that permission to create a folder under it. Okay. So in this way, you can share a folder and access the share folder contents on a client computer. That's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.